David here with Fig Boot on Pens, back again with another fountain pen review. Today I have for you another pen from Narwhal. Now, I recently reviewed their new Horizon model. While I typically like to space out reviews from the same manufacturer, the limited edition pen I'll be showing you today is something that the company recently released which is a collaboration with the It Gets Better project in support of Pride Month and the LGBTQ plus community, and it is called the Voyage Pride. What I'm going to do today is go over the parts and features of this pen, talk about what I care for and what I don't care for about it, show some measurements, size comparisons, and provide a writing sample. Thanks go out to the good folks at Narwhal for providing this pen for review. Now, on the topic of Pride Month, uh, that has been a rather contentious topic here in the U.S. this year. The political ideology chasm between the left and right feels like it has widened, uh, and this has led to a number of protests and ugly incidents. Um, I'm going to say this about that. Um, I make every effort to keep my channel a safe and positive space for everyone, regardless of your personal opinions regarding Pride Month and what some people describe as rainbow capitalism. Um, I don't want the comment section turned into an ideological battleground. If you are personally offended by an LGBTQ plus themed pen, I strongly disagree with your opinion, but feel free to not watch this review. It's as simple as that. Okay, with that being said, let's actually take a look at a pen. It arrives in this custom box. On one side, it has Narwhal, and on the other side, it says the It Gets Better project. Uh, then the pen itself actually arrives in this box. I noticed the box says Nautilus on it, but this is actually a Voyage model. I'll explain the differences here in a second. Uh, a portion of the proceeds from this limited edition will be donated to the It Gets Better project, which has a mission to empower and connect LGBTQ uh, youth around the globe. And inside we have the pen. This is the Narwhal Voyage Pride. Uh, the Voyage is similar to Narwhal's Nautilus model, uh, but there are a couple of differences. The main one being that the Voyage has a single more traditional ink window, and then the Nautilus has three porthole ink windows. I'll show you a comparison of the two during the writing sample. Uh, this is a pen made from a diamond cast resin with the fun name of Unicorn Poop. The resin was created by Tim McKenzie of McKenzie Penworks. Uh, Tim is located here in North Carolina, not far from where I live. A while back, I had the opportunity to visit his very large workshop. It's a great facility. Uh, here are a number of rods he was producing. And if you look closely, you can see a few rods of his unicorn poop material. It's turned into one of his most requested custom colors. This material is just a fun sparkling mix of pastels. And the sparkles you can see here are real diamonds. Uh, I, you know, I like the subtle blending of the colors here. It's kind of a really muted palette of blue and purple and yellow and pink. Um, it's vibrant without being too in your face. The trim on this pen is rose gold in color, which I feel matches nicely with the overall color scheme of this pen. Uh, let's take a look at the top of the cap. It's adorned with a metal piece with the number of this pen. It is a limited edition of 223 units, with 223 signifying the year 2023. This transitions into a rounded half-circle clip. Um, it's not overly stiff and works well with materials of varying thicknesses. The cap is straight until you get to the end, where you are greeted with a nice stamped band. It has the company name and a fun ocean motif. Now, Narwhal must still be working through some of their inventory uh, of bands because uh, this is their old spelling of their company name. A while back, the company rebranded with a new logo and new name. And while the new name is still pronounced Narwhal, it has a different spelling. There is a medium-sized step down from the cap to the barrel where you are greeted with the ink window. The barrel is straight until you reach a band signifying the beginning of the piston knob and the end of the barrel is rounded. The cap twists off in just under two rotations. 
and underneath we have Narwhal's in-house number six stainless steel nib. Uh, the nib also has the older company logo. I guess they're still working through their stock of those as well. It still looks nice though. Um, I've been impressed with Narwhal's in-house nib. Uh, you'll see in the writing sample, but I found them to perform very nicely. Uh, this nib is available in either fine, medium, broad, or stub. And here's a look at the plastic feed. The section begins with a medium-sized flare before angling up to the resin threads in the aforementioned ink window. I like the size of this ink window. It's not overly large, but large enough to give you a good look at your ink situation. Um, I previously mentioned the piston knob. This is a piston filler. The mechanism here is smooth. It's not inked right now uh, and doesn't feel flimsy at all. This is a really sturdy, well-made pen. Uh, and the cap is not designed to post. Um, it's plenty long enough to use unposted. And I kind of like it that it is clear that the cap will not fit on the back here. I've seen other pens where the cap like kind of posts and you're left to wonder whether it can or can't be posted. But with this one, it is clear. The Narwhal Voyage Pride is available at a wide number of retailers, but as I mentioned previously, it is a limited edition of 223 units, uh, and it sells for $169, which is in reference to the 1969 Stonewall Riots and their impact on the LGBTQ plus community. Um, with this being such a nice looking offering and a limited edition, I can't imagine it being around for long before they are all snatched up. So if this is something that interests you, I would recommend uh, taking action sooner rather than later before they are all gone. Uh, thanks again. Go out to Narwhal for providing this pen for review. Now it is time for some measurements, size comparisons, and a writing sample. So here we go with some size comparisons for the Narwhal Voyage Pride. I wanted to give you another look at this material and uh, you could really see some of the chatoyance in there, the shininess, which is those diamonds. It's really subtle, but it's a nice material overall. In regard to a couple of other Narwhal pens, um, oh, you know what? I was going to show you the difference. This is the uh, Nautilus, and so you can see there is no ink window here, but on this one there is the portholes, uh, which is the main difference between those two models. Uh, this is a Narwhal Original Demonstrator, and then we have the Original Demonstrator Plus, which is a vacuum filler. Then in regard to a couple of other pens, here it is with a Twisby Diamond 580. That's the Iris version I recently reviewed. Uh, here is a Platinum 3776 in Chartres Blue. Uh, and then here it is with a Lamy All-Star. In regard to uncapped comparisons, here it is with the Platinum 3776. This is the Demonstrator Plus, or the uh, Narwhal Original Demonstrator Plus. And then here it is with the Lamy All-Star. Here we go with the writing sample for the Narwhal. And this is the Voyage Pride. 2023 and this is a fine stainless steel nib and the ink I'm using is a, a new ink from Narwhal uh, they released a few inks in their rover lineup I have a couple of them in my possession I have galaxy and jade with me and the one I'm using today is galaxy so this is Narwhal and this is the galaxy This is what the ink looks like. It's kind of a, a blue-black, kind of more on the uh, blacker side of blue-black. Uh, this is what it looks like with Petalken Edelstein and the Tanzanite. Uh, and then here it is with the Diamine Midnight, which is a little bit more on the blue side. Uh, this is what the bottles look like. 
this is the galaxy uh, and then also I have the jade here and this is what the jade looks like so it's nice uh, a nice kind of muted green and here we go with the rest of the writing sample Um, this fine nib is nice. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of fine and extra fine nibs. Um, I just don't like it when they're just too scratchy uh, or have too much feedback. And I find that this one, well, I mean, for me is tolerable, which means it's probably a decent nib in regard to being fine. You're not going to get a lot of line variation out of here uh, in regard to ink flow. I'd say it's probably on the lower side. You know, it's decent for a fine in regard to reverse writing. It does get the job done with an extra, extra fine line. And then in regard to some fast writing. The feed keeps up just fine. Just went out of frame there for a second. So there we have the Narwhal Voyage Pride 2023. Um, this supports a really good uh, LGBTQ uh, charity, the It Get Better project. Uh, and like I said, with the limited number of pens being available worldwide, if this is something that interests you, I would find them sooner rather than later because I have a feeling they're going to sell out rather quickly. Uh, until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.